Hey, Gemini. Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. We're going to be using uh, Angels and Ancestors for a quick couple of Oracle cards. Then we're going to be using a um, beautiful deck of um, Lightseer's Tarot and Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Okay, they're going to be... Um, these are really awesome cards. But let's get you a few Angels and Ancestors Oracle to see what the where we begin here. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good for Gemini. This reading's for anyone with Gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading. It could resonate right now or later on down the line. My readings are predictive and these predictions could come out right till the very last second of this reading. I can't reiterate that enough. All right, guys. Um... Yeah, if you don't know what this is about, all the more reason to pay attention because they're predictions. And like I said, even the storyline could change multiple times, but that doesn't mean the first storyline didn't apply to some people. Okay, let's do it. Gemini, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Okay, we've got moon. Take note of intuitive messages and we've got the shield maiden make plans and focus and at the bottom we have the angel the animal guardian um trust your instincts this is the um mascot card of the deck like it's the one you see on the cover so this really is all about make plans and um focus all right and to trust your instincts and to listen to your t intuition all of them say the same thing really um shield maiden is make plans and focus but the moon is about um take note of intuitive messages and animal guardian is trust your instincts so you're being told to pay attention to what you're thinking and what you're feeling and to make plans according to that you're being guided so these plans need to be made in accordance with what you have coming through instinctively and intuitively okay hope that makes sense let's go let's find out spirit and angels anyone for the highest and look at what this is i split the deck and that's another card of intuition even though it's the ace of swords in this deck it shows her getting intuitive information through her crown chakra nothing's an accident guys nothing's a mistake let's go with it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading what are the most important messages we have for gemini anyone with gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to see the gemini reading for whatever reason they've been guided here gemini reading all right let's do it what do we need to know about this Gemini reading? Moon, Shield Maiden, and our Animal Guardian. Beautiful. Oh, there it is. Pay attention to your intuition. What did we just talk about? High Priestess gathering all that information through her crown chakra can you believe that eight of cups is reversed here what else do we need to know gemini reading We've got the Magician reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, the Temperance card, and what else? What's going on here for Gemini, please? justice right there at the end and the ten of cups beautiful all right so let's talk about this so you got the ten of cups as your bottom card and right behind that you have the eight of wands really nice energy coming into this reading no more stress we're letting go of that the nine of swords reversed okay really nice energy so um <clears throat> This information you're receiving, you've got the hermit back here too. I feel like it's all the information we've been talking about coming in, in into your crown chakra here that you're picking up on and they're saying, trust your instincts, um, 
trust your um, intuition and your instincts, right? Trusting what you're receiving through um, from spirit. All right. So there's something going on here about I really have to look at this because I'm not sure what's happening here. It feels like um, there's multiple things that I'm getting on this. And I'm not sure if this is that you feel stuck in something or if you haven't been able to, like you haven't been able to achieve something, but you're being guided in some way. But we're going to look at it. Um, we've got this beautiful temperance and justice. Whew, look at that. Archangel Michael here and balance both of these are cards of balance big time i feel as though you are being guided towards something and spirit keeps saying trust us trust us listen to us we're sending you this information um just pay attention right but let's find out because i want to be 100 percent sure and look at this guardian angel uh you're never alone a spirit card at the bottom as well i didn't notice that till just now all right, let's get into it. This is Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Gemini. What do we need to know for anyone with Gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading for whatever reason they've been guided here? What do we need to know about this? What are the messages? Gemini reading. This could resonate now or later on down the line. Uh, this is a weekly reading, but could resonate anytime that you're guided to see it or just later on. All right, let's get one more shuffle. Gemini reading, one more shuffle. Oh, and by the way, guys, your monthlies come out tomorrow as well. We have 26 new videos coming out this weekend. There's bound to be something or multiple somethings for everyone. We got the weeklies today. We got the monthlies tomorrow. And on Sunday, we had the Friday reading just come out um, on Friday. Sunday, we have um, the finance reading and the Monday reading for you to start your week. Um, the finance reading is a weekly reading. It comes out for the collective. All right, so let's find this out. First of all, the Eight of Cups ends up being in the center of your reading. So let's take a look at it. What do we need to know about this Eight of Cups here in reverse? Gemini reading. Why is... Okay, I see it. Wow, all right. Interesting. So this Eight of Cups... You're just sitting still, like everything stopped right now is what it feels like while you contemplate two of swords, making a decision that could bring in some kind of happiness and wish fulfillment here. Well, we already know something definitely could bring in happiness, but whatever it is, it's your decision. So there's something here about you have, uh, you've absolutely kind of frozen for a minute so that you can contemplate on this ten of swords is behind that so this and the wheel of fortune behind that this would end an old cycle right but whatever this is releases you from stress and allows you to let in something really positive and this is what you're thinking about and spirit is guiding you they're like okay now you're not sure what to do you're trying to make up your mind it will bring you happiness and we're trying to make sure that you know that by sending you the intuitive messages and we want you to listen to them these cards up here all right let's look at this high priestess she's taking in this information what about the high priestess here gemini reading why is the high priestess involved here what do we need to know about it It's way too many. I can't even can't even begin to look at those. It's way too many. Just one or two high priestess, please. One or two cards only. Oh, there you go. All right. So we've got here the Knight of Chalices reverse. That's the Knight of Cups reverse and the Three of Pentacles. All right. So there could be something going on. You could be, um, somebody could absolutely be wanting to involve you in a, in a third party situation. It's Three of Pentacles. Um, or you don't know this maybe, but your intuition tells you that there's somebody hidden. See how she's like working in the background behind his back. Um, or this could be something going on behind your back that you find out about that someone's not being genuine. There's something here where you're being guided 
to pay attention <clears throat> to something that might not be in your highest good. Um, but this is being done for you, not against you. This is absolutely being done on your behalf for you to find this out, this information out, so that you um, can go towards something much better because you're being guided towards wish fulfillment that you don't have in this situation. So let's find out. Let's look at the Nine of Cups reverse. What is the Nine of Cups reverse doing here for Gemini or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading? Why not? Okay. King of Wands. All right, so this could be you or this could be someone else. Let's get a look at it. Why Nine of Cups reversed with King of Wands? Why King of Wands? Gemini reading. Why is King of Wands here with the Nine of Cups reverse? Do we have any kind of information we could share here? Ace of Pentacles. Well, all right. So King of Wands looks like, um, is this someone new? Or this could be your energy of receiving something new with some action you will take. King of Wands sometimes to me just means take action. Let me look at it. Tell me more about King of Wands. Anything about just the King of Wands. Why is King... Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have um, the Page of Cups. Page of Chalices. This is all new beginning. So this is... Um, this is really someone coming in to make you an offer, some kind of an offer. Now, this could be platonic or this could be romantic. We have Ace of Pentacles, like that's the new beginning. It's solid and it's stable. And we have the Page of Cups, which could be a really kind gesture. It could be apology. It could be an offer of some sort. But this comes off the heels of something or someone else. This is a different person. We have someone up here that we can't trust and then someone new coming in. So why are we seeing both of them? Because you have a choice to make. Okay, so keep this in mind. The person who comes in with a solid offer, the person who comes in really passionate and the king of he's the king of wands uh he could be an aries leo sagittarius i he's probably sagittarius with this temperance right here but really could be anyone this person looks good so if you're choosing between two different people trust your gut your gut is telling you which one's going to be the more solid stable person for you the other one is a phony and a player and uh has third parties or has a person hidden or is still involved with their ex or something. I, I don't know, you know, exactly what that is. All right, let me look at the Magician Reversed here. Gemini reading, why the Magician Reversed? What do we need to know about the Magician Reversed? Gemini reading, why Magician in the Reverse? Nine of Wands Reversed and the High Priest. Okay, interesting. So, um, Nine of Wands is now reversed here, so I don't feel like I have to protect myself. I don't have to feel like I have to fight for something. I don't feel like I have to engage. Um, and the High Priest. So, this really could be, and this is probably your energy here is the Magician reversed. Or this could be someone who's trying to play you. It could, because even though you're a Gemini, Magician could be other signs. So this really could be someone who um, you're guarding yourself against or you've been guarding yourself against. This could be someone, um, you could have been blocking all commitments. That's what I'm feeling. Like you could have been blocking all commitments because of this player over here. And now this really nice person's coming in. Um, so genuine. Uh, so King of Wands with this Knight of Cups with the actual new beginning coming in. But they're coming in on the heels of you being disappointed by someone else or dealing with somebody who, I don't know if they put you through a third party or what. Let's look at uh, temperance. Temperance and balance. Wow, I'm going to look at them both. Uh, temperance is balance and justice is balance is what I meant to say. So temperance and justice. Let's get a look at it. Gemini reading temperance and justice. What is it we need to know? 
Gemini reading. Why temperance and justice? Why? What do we need to know about it? What are the messages? Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely. So, well, we're going to put an end to something. The Ten of Swords that was Five of Pentacles reversed. So, in other words, whatever this was made us feel left out in the cold. So, you might have felt really hurt, very... Um, abandoned you could have been somebody could have um somebody could have just left you out in the cold which could have been really difficult like what happened right um three of swords it was really painful so that's what caused all this uh pain with the ten of swords is back here too don't forget so the Ten of Swords is back here it's been holding up the wheel and you've been just it you went into this like shut down right and hermit mode with this ten of swords so whatever this person did hurt you deeply but now things are about to take off and happiness is coming in there's a new person coming in here i definitely want to say this if you're still in touch with this person who put you in a third party or who was like a player or not genuine please cut ties with this person it's in your highest good because you actually this happens all the time all the time we can't manifest in anything properly um, if we are still blocking this is I'm blocking my blessings I can't manifest them in any I can't manifest a commitment in but it's because we're still attached to somebody else so keep this in mind now this is only going to be for who it's for okay so you don't need to spout out down below i left that mofo five years ago well that's obviously not your message um common sense people this is for somebody seriously who is still either holding on engaging with or just stuck in that energy that they're stuck in and spirit is saying please use your intuition here if you're still speaking to this person or torn like should i go back to the past or should i accept the new spirit says listen to your intuition you have a choice to make here one keeps you stuck and one gives you your wish all right make sure you choose wisely i really do feel spirit wants you to plan wisely by using your intuition and your instincts and knowing what you already know about the person that stuck the ten swords in your back and i feel brought in some kind of a third party and to make sure that you're aware that there's somebody way better than that either coming in or now keep this in mind we could block this person from coming in just by choosing to remain stuck with this other person that caused all this pain and aggravation so i mean this again is over and over again saying when you release the ten of swords which we saw back there it allows you to have this happiness it, it relieves you from the stress the ten swords fall out eight of wands the ten of cups and then no more five of pentacles it's very balanced now you end up with justice and archangel michael here with temperance saying we got this um with with the nine of cups remember your decision depends on whether you get the nine of cups or you stay stuck I feel like you have a decision to make and that decision really has to do with breaking free of an old energy from a person who really is not in the highest good for you. Um, now, of course, you have to make your own decisions, right? You have to look at it however way you have to look at it. Trust your instincts, trust your gut, listen to your intuition. Um, spirit wants you to move on your path. Um, plan make plans and focus this is shield maiden this is your path making plans for your journey ahead does somebody you don't trust come with you or do you open up that door for somebody that's very positive and very um trustworthy and really genuine um you know and we could be your wish fulfillment because choosing this one brings you wish fulfillment I very much think that the person who's going to be your wish fulfillment, they come through as a strong fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but they really could be anyone because they're coming through in this very passionate energy. It could be why they're coming through as fire. So I'm not, I'm going to tell you, just be open to whoever comes through as genuine and whoever your gut tells you and your instincts tell you to trust, right? And you already, I feel you already know that this other one is full of BS and it's not going to go anywhere. That's what I feel. All right, let me get you uh, angels, angel cards here. Angels, 
what do we need to know here for this Gemini reading? What's important? What's most important? Respect, baby, and integrity. Wow. <gasps> oh, boy. Ex respect and integrity, right? Exactly. And Spirit says, have faith and trust your gut. They're really telling you to trust what you're feeling. What, if you're feeling somebody's not right for you, it's because they're not. If you're feeling somebody new, well, I don't know if you've met this person yet, or if you feel, if you feel like someone new is being blocked because of your attachment to someone else, do whatever you got to do to disconnect that attachment. Even if it means you got to do your own cord cutting or whatever you call it to release the energy you know everybody likes to do different practices i don't like to tell people what to do but you could do whatever practices it takes for you to release this old person's energy of disrespect and dishonor and um lack of integrity and lack of respect as it says here so that you can open that door and trust that the next person or this new person is the one because they're coming through in a really high vibration here good luck everybody i hope that this helps in some way gemini i hope that it makes sense to those of you that will be um yeah see how the stars right behind that the leap of faith's right behind that here's queen of cups behind that i feel like you really and six of cups reversed was back there i feel like this is all your energy coming into this needing to make this decision knowing that you have to decide i feel between people i feel there's going to be a choice between two people and i think the person that's right for you comes through in a much more integritous energy all right, guys, good luck. Have a good one. Don't forget, monthly readings tomorrow, weekend, all weekend. 26 videos coming at you. Make popcorn. Get ready for a Good Witch Intuitive Tarot Marathon. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Don't forget to hit the like for me. It grows the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.